Welcome to this episode of the Edifier Show here on YouTube. Happy New Year to everybody who's watching this as this is pre-recorded. So it's going out on January the 4th of this year, of 2024. And I'm pleased to be joined by a first BYB fighter of this year, uh, who is the newly crowned champion, as they say, in the, uh, in the USA. Of course, winning the belt in Denver, Colorado. Uh, in the in, in early December, uh, when he beat uh, Mark Shark Irwin uh, to become the youngest and I think the only youngest BYB lightweight champion in history. By the way, so congratulations on that achievement as well. But it's a pleasure to have on this evening, uh, Julio Tenori. Tenori. Yes, Welcome to mm -hmm. the show. How are you? Uh, I'm great, Edward. Thank you very much. That was a per perfect introduction. I appreciate you, bro. Um, I'm good. And, and yeah, just hanging in there with all the holidays, all the food and stuff, man. Yeah, absolutely. And, uh, you know, it's good to see you. And I'm glad you, you're recovering well uh, after last month's uh, big fight run 2023. And, and you know, a great uh, sporting came out. A lot of feedback came out. And a lot of fans reacting to that big fight against Mark. But um, heading into that, were you happy about the out? Uh, you know, were you happy with your preparation? Because obviously it worked, whatever you uh, did to prepare for that big fight. Um, Happy for the outcome? Well, I'm 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 happy that I got the bell and everything in that one, right? But yeah. uh, I took, we took too much damage, bro. The job should have been done faster. Um, I should have got prepared a little better. Um, so yeah, that's gonna be stuff we have to fix on in the later, later round, later, um, fights. But mm. thank God we, we got the W and we came back home, bro. Mark made it back home, so that's already a blessing, bro. Yeah, no, absolutely, because it, it, it was quite a worrying uh sign after uh, that fight went on with that bulge on the side of his head as well. So, uh, I thought the fight might have to be uh, interrupted or something because it looked quite ugly on his part but luckily uh, he's yeah. on the mend yeah but hey man it was championship rounds I didn't think the fans weren't going to be happy so <laughs> well you made them proud and you made history you're in the history books now so uh, how, how does that feel for you as well making history that's that's uh, that's crazy bro that's just like 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 anybody else bro it was like whoa like you know yeah, um, mind blowing I, yeah, it's mind blowing. I can't really put my feelings to it. It's so new to me, and it came out of nowhere. So it's like you know, the emotions aren't there yet. But right now, it's like, okay, damn, we're we're doing good. Um, we're 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 uh taking step by step, right? Exactly, exactly. And as you mentioned, as well, you're still new to this because you made your debut in what end of twenty twenty two. So you've just been doing this for over a year. You know, professionally, so uh, that's, a, that, that's a big goal as well to go from being a, in in your rookie year to ending that year off with a lightweight championship or lightweight belt. Yes, sir. Like, yes, sir, Edward. Yes, yes, man. So, so as we enter this new year, then uh, what's on the cards for you? Who are you wanting to fight? Oh well, really, I don't, I don't mind who I fight. Uh, right now, I got the belt, so. That was one of the goals. Mm. Um, so I don't, I don't really mind Edward who I fight. I just um, I'm just worried about uh, making myself better yeah. and improving myself, and then the rest, you know, the rest will come. I'm not worried. No, no. You you speak about uh, you know fixing the errors which were made in that fight uh, in December. Uh, have you already have, have you already figured out what went wrong or what weaknesses you have to get better at? Heading into uh, your next camp, um, I just believe uh, I should have trained smarter, and um, certain stuff I should have been doing on my camp for this for that fight that I didn't do. So I want to um, lock that all in together, you know. Yeah. And then yeah, just stay a little more cleaner, you know, be more uh, aware of what I'm doing through throughout my um, throughout my days. So certain stuff like that. Of course, of course, that makes sense. And, you know, as as you said, as you get better, 
with each fight, you know, you will get confident and you'll make less of the mistakes you made in in that particular fight from your perspective, and and it, you 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 can become a lot smoother as the process continues for yourself as well. Uh, but what's been the reaction from your fans as well, Barry? You know, I, I'm sure your fans, and I'm guessing the rest of the BYB fans who may didn't think much highly of you before this fight may have a lot more praise and a lot more following for you now as well. Yeah, well, uh, to be honest, I surprised a lot of people after my first fight. Um, I was I was the the bait. Yeah. I was the bait on my first fight, so um, I I really did my my big entrance, you could say, right there. Mm. So with with this upcoming fight, it was like I feel like it was a little more expected, you know, to for that to come out for me. Yeah. To come out of me but but yeah bro everybody's being real nice you know everybody's giving me my um my props good uh there's a lot of support behind and, and it's just it's just great bro good glad great that, support yeah. yeah no glad to hear that and i hope that continues with with the next fights you have in byb and and it's going to go upwards from here now as well even if you lose the title down the road you know, either way, you will have that support now for the rest of your career, ups or down yeah. to come, exactly. But um, you know, the BYB is quite a you know global company now. You know, goes all over across Europe and all that stuff. Is is there particular uh, places you would love to fight in in the coming months on the BYB? Oh, actually, that's funny that you bring that up, bro. Um, Edward, <laughs> uh, actually, they were saying something about they might fly out to Hawaii. Oh wow! Okay. To- yeah. yeah. So, so who who doesn't want to go to Hawaii, right? <laughs> I know. It's, it's it's kind of a holiday, business holiday type thing, isn't it? Yeah, exactly, man. So that would be dope out. Yeah. Put some hula's on. Get yeah. over there, man. I'd be sick for yeah. sure. It would be, be quite a good uh, good destination, and uh, you know, to bring the fight fans uh, to a new place, you know, to experience the best in the world of the BYB. Yeah, man. Hey, if I rather if I get a bone broken, uh, shoot, it'd be better in Hawaii. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go serving and all sorts down there as well. It'd be, it'd be very good. Hopefully, the BYB will will be a man of the word and and go down there because it'd be good for them and and good for the fans who live there as well who may not be able to get up to a U.S. state to uh, to come and watch the action. So uh, bring it down, sure. bring it down to the sunny oceans. I love that. That'd be dope as fudge, Edward. Well, I hope you get to come to the UK as well because they've done some events in London and hopefully they might do some more over here next year, this year as well. So, you know, hopefully we get to see you uh, make you a London, uh, you know, with the title. Okay, okay. So you're doing this from all the way from the UK, huh, Edward? Yes, oh, that's dope, so yes, bro. Yes, yes, yes. We're hey, representing man. the BYB from over here. <laughs> hey, man. That's right, man. Hey, well, yeah. But yeah, you need you you need to come over here when you know when the when whenever that show will be over here, back over in O two in London, you need to come over here with that lightweight championship and you know, defend it over here. You know, give our UK fans you know why show show them why you are the best lightweight champion in history and why you are the youngest as well in history. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Dan, I, if I do, I want to make sure I contact you first, Edward. If I go over there in the UK, man. <laughs> yeah, so you have to. Yeah, that'd be quite a good. Uh, quite yeah, a good why not? To that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. something, something different yeah yeah no, it most definitely will be and you show the fight fans in not just in the UK but across Europe uh, why you deserve the title and I'm sure in your next defence it will come a lot better of why you deserve to be the champion as well thank you sir right 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 little by little we'll start checking places out yeah to see how far it goes exactly exactly and as well like you know, you must have some targets. You, you know, people calling you out for the title now. I guess you know it's starting now, and you know you've had the nicey nicey from f- few people. There's got to be some people on the radar. Like, oh, I want to face you now for this belt. You're in my way. I want to get this and take my yes. my my marketing to the next level. Yes, sir. Exactly. Um, I am getting a couple of those, Edward. Um, I'm not gonna mention any names, but I am getting a couple of. Of uh, people targeting me already, so I uh, I got to get ready for that too as well. Yeah, gotta watch your back at all times now since yeah. you're the champ. You know, you got a lot of people coming after you now. You know, for that title, so it'd be interesting to see uh, which contender would step up and which one you may decide to uh, accept to face uh, whenever 
that happens over the next few weeks. But I guess as well, they should check out your social media to stay up of all the things regarding yourself, regarding whenever you're going to defend the tower next and whatever you do in between camps and how you, uh, you know, downside yourself as well when you're not preparing for a fight. Right, 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 exactly. So they could they could uh, spy on me in that way. Um, I make sure I, I don't post a lot of, of what I be doing, what I do, even though they're telling me I should I should be doing some stuff like that because I got to get publicity and stuff. Yeah, exactly. But, yeah, but I don't want to uh, snitch myself out, throw myself out like that too, you know, like you were saying. Um, I should just be smart. I'll be smart on what I what I put and stuff. Well, I, I I've been on your social media and you you posted some interesting you know things so far, and I'm liking what I'm seeing from your social media. So I'm I, I'm sure wherever you decide to post that would be happy with your fans. You know, you could, you, you you don't want to give too much away because then somebody might get your inside plans of uh, of how to right. beat you, for instance. You know, right, Edward. So, right, thank you, sir. No, no, we, we don't want that to happen. You know, I mean, the worst thing we want to see is is you leaking out what you do, and then next thing, boom, they find that weakness and then take you down. We don't want that. Yeah, exactly, exactly, Edward. But what we can talk about, which I don't think we leak too much out, is is how you diet well uh, for your camps. Like, do you do you eat something? You know, do you do you differently when you're in camp compared to when you're not in camp, or do you eat most of the same? in both when you're in not in camp but when you are in camp that's funny um uh, edward i actually woke up writing notes about um <laughs> he's yeah. come prepared i like this i like this guy he's come prepared he's been told what i yeah. like <laughs> yeah exactly bro i was um noting about my vitamins and stuff what should i be eating so so i focus on, on that a lot yeah. i don't i don't have the full mental around it yet mm -hmm. but i know certain stuff that i should eat i shouldn't eat but i try to stay clean and um get the right minerals and stuff that my body needs the vitamins and you know just stay away from the bad stuff well they do well right. they do say that you're allowed to have a cheat day so you know you're allowed to have a cheat day apparently so um what would be your favorite cheat day food or snack you would have my favorite cheat day food uh i don't really have those but my cheat days because i eat, i eat like let's say like um what my mom makes so i'll be like it's usually some good some good uh nutrient stuff so really with me cheating would be going out to mcdonald's or um going out to eat places like that you, yeah. you get it so that's what for me would be like a little cheat day and i try to avoid that i don't really like those yet anyway so so that's that not even ice cream not even ice cream either then i try to avoid it but every here every here every now and then i'll see ice cream i'll take a little <laughs> little bit of ice cream yeah cause it gets too tempting you know i don't know how you are able to, oh, to to not be tempted to go for like fast food or for ice cream or desserts, etc. Et so you do a very good job of uh, of staying clean of all those, you know, unhealthy options out there to to, to stay fit and healthy. Yeah, bro. There's, I mean, there's some home meals that'll be a little too greasy as well. <laughs> yeah, we can't we can't do that, but it's too good, like you're saying. Oh, we might got is that a court? Oh, yeah, he's left us. I think <laughs> that was great, wasn't it? Uh, he might come back. Um. I just go back on here. Okay, so <laughs> our 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 show is interrupted uh, here on the Fowler Show. It looks like my guest may have pressed the wrong button. Hopefully, you can rejoin us because I'm not into this. So uh, we'll see um, if he does rejoin us. Oh, he does. Hello again. Welcome back. Oh. <laughs> Welcome back. I don't know. I don't know what happened there. Did you get a phone call or something? Because you kind of just ended. Yeah, it. Edward. My my battery died on my tablet. I have to use my phone now. Oh right. Sorry about that, sir. But my you're apologies. Fine. No, you're fine. You're fine. I thought you might have pressed the wrong button or something. That's all. But uh, but it's all it's all good. Um. But no, I, I was about to say. Um. You mentioned about the holidays. I'm, I'm I'm guessing you must have had some. You know, some cheat days, and of course over Thanksgiving as well. You must have some cheat days. Uh, there to, to eat as much glorious food as possible. 
Oh, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right after my fight. Right now, I'm in, I'm in my cheat zone, you could say. <laughs> I'm um cheating a little bit through all my little break uh, that I have. I was, um, yeah, so, but after this, after this break, I'm going to get back into it, man. Um, I just wanted to make sure I enjoyed myself. We went through war. I'm like, we have to enjoy myself a little bit at least this time. True, you have to, you know. And you know, after you won the uh, the lightweight bout, did you go out and celebrate afterwards, or or how did you? Uh... Yeah, yeah, exactly. I was uh, celebrating a little bit, taking a little bit of shots <laughs> here and there, you know. But Tequila. we gotta stay away from that. That's that's no good. <laughs> Well, I guess I did say you're allowed to celebrate big moments, and that was a big moment for you. So, so I thank you, you, sir. I bet you're you right. Got, I bet you got a bit drunk that night, didn't you? Oh, it's a little bit. Just a little bit. <laughs> uh, were, you, were you joined by your friends and family, or just or, or other fighters as well, or? Oh, uh, to be honest, I just no, oh that same night I didn't um I was kind of I wasn't in the mood for all that. So I kind of waited till we got back home. We oh. celebrated a little bit back home. That's fair. That's fair enough. Just family and stuff, you know, by myself. Yeah. I didn't want to do too much. No, it makes sense because you know, the, you know, some wild people <laughs> who yeah, want to exactly. who want to tag along uh, for for the ride of uh, celebration alongside you. But exactly, but you, man, you... we don't want to get too wild. No, you don't. No, you don't for sure. But at least. You got to celebrate with the title, and at least you get to do it around the Christmas. So it, it's like a early Christmas present when you won the title. Yes, yes, sir, exactly, Edward. That's a good way to put it, man. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It is, and you know, you're going to bring in twenty twenty four with a bang. We can't wait to see what you do. Um, remind us as well where where can the my viewers and your fans, who you know, future fans of yours, can find you on your social media. Oh well, my my professional Instagram account would be x knuckles underscore up finishing with an x at the end and after up. And that's the only place they can find you on social media. That's the only social media that I have so Perfect. far. Yes. Perfect. We're Instagram. Up, yeah, we're showing up right now on your, on on our screen, so then we can see that that that's how, where they can find you. Uh, on Instagram, and you will see he's got over, I think it's like over 700 uh, followers uh, on Instagram as well. So uh, I'm glad I'm correct with that uh, social media. Okay, I was, I was, uh, I was searching it like, for other places. I couldn't see anything else uh, where you're on social media. So I just assumed you're just on Instagram. So I'm glad I'm, I was correct about that as well. <laughs> Ah <laughs> uh, yeah, perfect, perfect, Edward. Yeah, bro, you correct, man. Yeah, yeah. Well, well, I was a bit worried. I think, oh, yeah, if he's on a social media, then that's fine. We can just uh, pronounce them on 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 the app. But at least we yeah, we'll uh, not to pronounce it, but also show you uh, where Shit. you can find my guest. Um, dope, dope. Do you Thank uh, you very much, Edward. No, you're very welcome. Um, do you um do you drink a lot of um protein as well during the day? Uh, drink protein. I try to avoid those, bro. I try to avoid those. Really? Just Why? Like I was kind of like, Why? Yeah, they're, they're they're quite healthy. Not not they're not cheap food or anything like that. They're quite healthy, you know. Mixtures of, of of great protein you can have in a drink. It could be good. It it it, it should be good. Um, but I feel like there's better uh ways to contain that protein okay. without having to to uh get it off of of a human made um food base right, you get what okay. i'm saying yeah yeah i get what you're yeah yeah so i think like that a lot um but yeah so i try to avoid those and get it from actual natural resources oh yeah okay so it means you, means you do have some kind of drinking kind of protein then from natural sources uh what do you um what, what 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 do you put in them, in yours then, or, or or how do you come across the natural resources of, of of the protein you may have then during the course of when you're in camp? Well, for for uh, protein drinking, yeah, um, I don't really drink a lot of protein, but if I were to drink it, I would uh, how do you say, liquefy some spinach and stuff. Oh yeah, you know, make a little green juice with some spinach. Um and stuff like that. Okay. 
Yeah. Very, very, very healthy. I, I, I uh, have to say, very healthy indeed. Uh, when you were growing up, Baladaray, did you always want to be a MMA fighter or a bare knuckle fighter as you were growing up? Actually, when I was growing up, I actually, when I was little, I wanted to be in the SWAT team, bro. I'm not even going to lie. Okay. That's an interesting job <laughs> yeah. to do. But I was little. It was just imaginations when your imagination was going beyond yeah. all that. Yeah. So I, I, I was like in elementary. I wanted to be in the SWAT team. But, <laughs> but yeah, that's funny, man. But um, after, um, I always thought it was a dope idea to get paid to um, get paid to play a sport. So, I and I was good. At, I always loved uh, being out out and about, you know, playing um, sports, uh, yeah. being active, being active and stuff. So I always liked that. I was like, whoa, I could have fun and get paid. Why wouldn't I do that, right? Yeah, no, absolutely. So, so that's where the boxing uh, or, or being professional at a sport came in. But really, I, I wanted to be a professional baseball player. Yeah, I can see why you've got the physique to be a baseball player. Okay, damn, I didn't know that, Edward. Thank you, bro. <laughs> You do, uh, you do. I just, I just really liked baseball. That's what it, I really liked baseball, and it was one of the most paying sports I believe I right. found. So I thought it was dope. Is that still something but, you might want to go into baseball in the future, or? Hey, but that sport is hard, bro. There's so many uh, competitors. Wow. Well, I, I mean, have to put a lot of time to it. Yeah, but I mean, you know, I, I, I'm sure it's, you know, worth it, worth it, you know, type of thing, you know, you should, you give it a go, see if you can get into, uh, you know, the uh, MLB league, you know, or, or hey, the bro, league below like that, you know, I think, I, I think you got what it takes. Hey, bro, it could be real worth it, it could be real worth it, Edward, but to be honest, I'm in this fighting game, and me focusing on that will, uh, will block a lot of my um of uh, my uh boxing or or fighting uh training that I could improve myself, you know? So yeah. I'd rather put that aside and put more time into into this lifestyle that I'm that I'm creating. But yeah. that would be dope, bro. But that would be dope. Yeah, you could do the both, couldn't you, you know? During the uh, off season. It takes a lot of time though. <laughs> it takes a off lot of time, Edward. Off season fight, on season baseball <laughs> why not huh <laughs> super athlete yeah there you go there you go you should give it a try one day if you get the chance to do so you should see if it works out for you and uh, see if you get the opportunities in, in in the baseball world as well but but who are some of the of the fighters or boxers and who inspired you that who 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 inspired you um to be honest uh, edward i don't have a lot of inspiration i don't i don't really focus on that um so I don't, I can't really um I can't really point that out. I don't I don't really have a lot of fighters that inspired me, but I would check some fighters out. I mean, every fighter should. Yeah. So 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 who are some of the fighters you would check out then uh, on to do some research on? Maybe you're thinking of um, some of the greats down in, in history. Well, uh, the most uh, known ones like you know Canelo, Floyd Mayweather. All of them, but some one of them that I really uh, like to kind of um, started to get into. Yeah, and it's yeah. more like not because of his fame and more because of like our our uh, fighting style mm -hmm. was uh, Crawford. Oh but yeah, Crawford is pretty known too, so it's kind of like you know. But yeah, but Crawford names. is good. Yeah, yeah, no good shouts, good shouts for sure. Um, yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Go on, you go ahead. Oh, I was just gonna say yeah, yeah. He has good um. How do you say he switches stances good? So that's one thing I want to practice on. Yeah. So he's a good um, fighter to study on that. Yeah, no, I see. Cause you, you made some great fighters there to to, uh, to do some research on and, and, and see if you can pick up anything from those guys to use in your own fighting style to bring to the table. Maybe even bring some surprises as well. Exactly, yes, sir. Some new... Uh, some new fighting tools yeah yeah exactly and what 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 does it make as well for you then to like you know to be in the ring with like you know big mo and having the great voice of fighting mike goldberg 
bring to not just for the sport of BYB but for the fighters as well you know to elevate those fighters to even more stats because they work in some of the top promotions in the world and having them being able to you know introduce you slash commentate uh, on your fights must mean a lot as well because it shows that you're in a a prestigious place right now yeah edward like i was like i we were talking about earlier um a lot of this stuff is new to me bro so it's like i don't have that emotion like like oh i know you know so it's a little hard for me to say um like or, or be like oh like i know them and it's dope that they're talking to me about me like that you know it's a little hard so I, i'm not gonna lie and, and and say stuff that's not it but um but it's amazing right now I, i'm i'm just starting off in this career mm. but them them just doing that for me like as a human as a person you know that's already like okay that that's dope bro that's good um thank you god and and Let's keep doing what we're doing, right? That that me has to mean something good. No, absolutely it does because you know it just shows you that you're on the right path, and it shows that you can succeed in the bad knocking world. And are you are you thinking of doing uh, MMA as well, or just focusing one hundred percent on bad knock? Is that the bad knock is the best to be in, or are you gonna? Because I know some of the fighters from the bad knock world came from MMA first and then crossed over. Are you thinking of doing the same costing of MMA or, con- or just doing bad knuckle for the foreseeable future? Well, actually, Edward, bro, I am a boxer, bro. So my career kind of went, yeah. it took a little, yeah. took a little curve into the bare knuckle world. Um, but really, I want to be a boxer, bro. I'm just doing this bare knuckle stuff just to, for right now, you know. Um, okay. Yeah, um, elevate my, my game up and... And my career, bro, I thought it would have been a good path to take, you know? Yeah, no, absolutely. And I, and I hope that um, it works out for you. You might, you might decide that this is what I want to do for some of my life or maybe detour back into the world of boxing, you know, because I bet it's quite strange at first when you first got into it, like without having any gloves on, you know, because I always thought uh, without the gloves, it would feel a lot harder. But apparently uh, the gloves make it a lot harder than the actual fists do. So, um you know, it's all credit to you uh, for deciding to have a go at the uh, bare knuckle world and succeeding in it as well. So, uh, so all thank credit to you. Thank you very much, Edward. Yes, yeah. sir. Thank you very much. I appreciate you, bro. No, you're welcome. It's true, you know, because, you know, you, you, you have a lot of a desire to do it than a lot of people would do so because they, they, they'll they find their own sport and they'll stick to it while you on the other hand, you know, you went from wanting to be a, a shrot player to maybe doing a bit of baseball, but then into boxing and now here you are in the BYB world so it's yes, uh, <laughs> mind blowing <laughs> of your yeah, journey some, so far anyway some, yes sir yes sir some hard shifts right there yeah exactly exactly well um, is there anything else um, you would like to um, mention or get off your chest which you think is important Is I might not have brought up which you think is uh, important to do so Oh well, I don't got nothing um else to say. Uh, you you pretty much covered covered a lot of stuff up, Edward. So thank you for that. Um, You're welcome. I just want to appreciate you for your time and everybody who's who's here watching, listening. Thank you guys. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it, Edward. Thank you very much, bro. You're welcome. And you can find my guest again on Instagram. It's Instagram uh, is there right now. X K N U C K L E S underscore U P X is the official social media for Julio Tanori Rodriguez uh, check him out follow him and uh, keep with what he's going to do next because uh, he's going to be doing some great things this year and it's going to be interesting to see who he defends that belt against and see Ooh. if he learns from his mistakes <laughs> as he said from the last fight which got him to become the champion so uh, some some interesting criticism uh, from my guest today so we look forward to seeing what you do uh, in 2024 and uh, we hope to uh, maybe have you back on the show again in, in, in a few months time to see, uh, to see what other big bigger stories come out regarding yourself because you made Yahoo you made a lot of you know a lot of major uh, sporting platforms regarding your last fights so I wonder what, what will be uh, in, in, in the coming fights as well hopefully uh, some more groundbreaking uh, stories and getting your name out there more 
Heck yeah, Edward, it'll be my pleasure, bro. And and, and yeah, bro, that's that's that'll be great, bro. I'll more more uh likely love to do that. Yeah. I'll more. Yeah. Well, well, there will be a clip uh, coming out of the show, and uh, the, and I'll be tagging you on social media on the Instagram uh, for you as well. So if you like the clip I choose from our our chat today, and I hope you have a wonderful start to 2024, and we look forward to seeing. Uh, you keeping up the great work uh, you've started at the end of last year. Thank you very much, sir. Same, same to you. Happy holidays, Edward. And um, don't get, don't get too crazy, man. <laughs> I won't. I won't. And you did the same, yeah. <laughs> yes, sir. Gotta stay healthy. Indeed, indeed. And if you enjoyed this episode, make sure to smash the like button, share the video around, tell me about my guest as well. Take him out, take out BYB, Bad Knuckle Fighting Extreme as well on social media. And as well, if you're new around here, then smash that subscribe button. And until next episode drops, enjoy the rest of your day. Yes, sir.